Hello. Hello. Is this Donald? Yeah. Oh, hi. I'm calling from Hover Round. Yes. And what? Oh, um, well, uh, do you have the Hover Round already, or are you just wanting to order a brand new one? Oh, we're ordering a new one. Oh, okay. But you have an old model right now? No, I have nothing. Oh, I see. And were you interested in our coin operated model? What do you mean a coin operated model? Uh, it, you have to put quarters. It, it's much, much cheaper than the regular models. But to, to every um, every quarter mile, you have to put in a quarter in, into the slot. It takes quarters. You have to pay quarters to to make it go. I never heard of anything like that. Oh yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's one of our newer models. Let's let's when, when I inquired about it around. And there's nothing on TV about it. Oh, about the... And when they sent me the, the, the CD, there was nothing in the CD about it. About the coin-operated models? Yes. And I filed to get one today and uh, make an arrangement with my doctor. I may I have to go down there and see him in Lancaster, uh -huh. which is 125 miles from me. And uh, now you're throwing me this spitball. If I'd known that's... This was the kind of deal you had. I would have never ordered one from you guys. In fact, I'm probably going to have to cancel it now. You're going to cancel? Well, I mean, well, yeah, this is stupid. I ain't going to carry a pocket full of quarters with me. Where the hell does that make sense? But, well, it makes sense because it's cheaper up front. Well, where the hell do you think I'm going to... Uh, if I'm a physically disabled person, and I need a wheelchair to, to get around, where the hell do you think I'm going to carry... Quarters in my pocket? Well, I mean, it's only... It's got to be stupid. That's the stupidest thing I ever heard of. It's 25 cents for every quarter mile. So it's not like you have to quarter carry a Quarter mile. I don't know how far is a quarter mile if you're going shopping. Well, yeah. if, if you, you, you can... You go run, running around up and down the aisles of the store, it, and, and uh, it, it, it stops. Well, what the hell is that? I got to make sure I have quarters in my pocket? <laughs> That's stupid. That's the dumbest thing I ever it, heard. It of. takes dollar coins, also, so you can just get dollar coins, and that that'll get you a whole mile. Uh, what does it have? A coin slot right on it? Yes. Yeah, kind of like a parking meter, and then there's a timer. It counts down, so you know when it's about to run out. Yeah. So, so if I if I use it in the house, and I put a dollar in it, I go to the laundry room and come back and forth a couple times. And I park it with it, make my time still keeps running. Oh no, no, it's it's only when it's rolling, like while it's moving, uh, that counts. It's it's uh, takes you know a quarter of a mile, and that's when you have to put more money in. Well, I thought hover around was going to be the salvation. Oh no, no, this, I mean this, you is, don't this is this is that tonight. I'm just offering you. You, tell, a, you tell your people they can stuff and they're sticking up their ass. No, I, I'm but, offering you a cheaper option. Like you don't have to get this. Listen to me. I have enough problems here to worry about. I'm not going to worry about keeping dollar bills or quarters in my pocket. Uh, that's that's ludicrous. Oh, it doesn't take dollar that's bills. That's what I got insurance for. Yeah, it doesn't take dollar bills, sir. That's crazy. It, it, like that doesn't well, make sense at all. Well, you said dollar bills. Well, no, I said dollar coins, like the gold coins. The no, 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 no. I'm, I'm not interested in that. There's a credit card slot, also. I mean, you could just put no it on your credit card. <laughs> I want to do stick a cook, my my credit card in it. Yeah, yeah, it'll read what your. What the hell is that? You'll print your That's receipt. stupid. Tell tell them to stick it. But I mean, it's I'll have to find somebody else. But, but no, it's cheaper just to use. It's Listen cheaper. to me. Do you understand English? I thought I'm speaking in English. Okay. The language of our country. I will not even attempt this. Never will I even attempt it's to do so it. It's so much cheaper up front, sir. Hey, you don't understand English, forget it. I'm, I'm done talking to you. What is your name? Who is this? What is your last name? Butthole. Better hope I don't ever see you face to face, buddy. What the hell is wrong with you?
Hey everybody, you're listening to the Snowplow Show. It's May 1st, 2020, and this episode is brought to you by B.I. Eber for Life, The Real Crazy Kraz, Audi Love, Parth Thernax, and Christine. Those are just a few of the many supporters over at patreon.com slash phone losers and the other things which you can find on phonelosers.com slash support. We've had a few new people sign up recently like Matt P, JT, David B, Cole, Yellowkin, Chris S., and Snake Eye 69. Oh yeah. Thank you everybody for signing up and supporting the show and getting an extra show every week. We're going to do a live show today. I mean, I did a live show earlier today. Now I'm making the intro for it and now you're about to hear it. So here it is. This is the live show that happened around 10 o'clock this morning. It lasted about two hours. I guess an hour and 45 minutes of that was actual show stuff. But I managed to chop off about 45 minutes of that, and it's just under an hour now. Enjoy it. Here it is. So I have no plans. Uh, Not really. I mean, I've got this list of Frankies that I've been calling off of for a while now. Originally, this list was like a thousand numbers long. Wait, hold on. Let me check on this, because now I'm curious. I'm going to look at his original email and the original spreadsheet with phone numbers in it. Originally... 999 people were on this list and i've been calling from from this list for a while now for you know a month or two we're down to 614 people left on this list that i have not gotten a hold of or that you know i deleted all the ones that didn't answer after three tries so it's a list in a city a city that i used to live in there's lots of uh you know city numbers and then there's lots of out in the burbs numbers. So it's kind of like a nice little mix thing. So I guess I'm just gonna rely on your ideas. Maybe I've set my number to a local number to theirs of 420-6969. Oh man, I wonder, okay, hold on, let me, I've been using that number for a while now. Let's, Let's see, just for fun, let's see if he's got any, I mean, let's see if it's even a real number. The number you have dialed is unallocated. Unallocated. So see, there's no victim in this whole thing. I'm just (laughs) bothering an unallocated phone number. Okay, Paul wants me to tell them I'm beaming 5G at their house. And of course I think that means I'm going to tell them that they'll most likely get coronavirus here in a minute. But it's okay, because then we're going to beam the antidote at their house and everything will be fine. Let's scare everyone today into thinking they're going to get the coronavirus via technology. That'll be hilarious. It's always funny to make people think they have deadly viruses. This is John. Hey, John. Uh, this this is uh, Gary from the city of Indianapolis. Oh, hey, what's up, man? Oh, not much. Hey, we're we're trying something here. Uh, we're with, yeah. with the, like, you have a Verizon wireless service? Uh, no, I do not. Oh, no. Okay, I think this is still going to work because it's on the same type of uh, network. We're, we're going to be beaming, okay. like, a high-intensity 5G uh, internet cell phone waves at your house. We're just going to be blanketing okay. your entire property. But it's just it's going to be localized just at your house. Are you home right now? No, I'm not. Ah, shoot. So nobody can test it out. I was going to see if you're... Your cell phone suddenly went really fast. I mean, you, you, right. so you well, have AT&T? Fuck. 
Well, it's a good thing he's not home because, you know, we don't want him to catch the, the COVID. That wouldn't be good. Hello? Hello, Justine? Hi. Hi, this is uh, Kevin. I'm uh, the mayor's assistant here in Indianapolis. Uh-huh. Um, you're not home right now, are you? No, I am driving. Okay. Well, hey, don't have an attitude with me. I'm, I'm from the mayor's office, you know. Oh, that's right. I'm not. I'm hands-free. I'm cool. Okay. Well, no, you just had an attitude with me. Oh, I didn't mean to sound like I had an attitude. I don't. I promise. It's okay. Hey, um, we're going to be beaming uh, 5G cell phone internet at your house. It's going to be localized on your property. We're just going to be blanketing your entire property with 5G for the rest of the day. So when, when you get home, can you try and use your cell phone and tell us how, how it goes? Uh, well, what address are you using? Because um, I'm no longer a, res- a resident of Marion County anymore. Oh, crud. Well, do you live on Plain? No. Uh, uh, oh. We, uh, yeah, we sold that. I mean, we were a uh, rental property there because um, our house had burned down in that subdivision. Um, and we relocated to up no- farther northern Indiana. Mm-hmm, yeah. So, uh, did, so, so the people that you sold it to, well, did that property burn down, the one that we're getting ready to blanket with 5G? Uh, no, it's owned by a rental company out of Chicago. Are they assholes? Uh, what? Well, we're really going to turn up the power really high. I didn't want to tell you about this. But, I mean, did you like the people that bought your house? I don't know. I mean, yeah, I guess. I don't really, I can't believe you just said a curse word being from the mayor's office. Oh, well, no, we curse. You should, uh, you think I curse a lot. You should hear the mayor. Oh, my God. The potty mouth on that guy. Okay, well, like I said. Not in the Indianapolis area anymore, but thank you. Okay, well, hey, I have another key. Hello? Talisha? Yes? Hey, uh, this is Greg. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm one of your neighbors. I live like five blocks from you. Uh-huh. Um, are you home right now? You say your name is Greg? Yeah, yeah, I don't know you or anything. Uh, me and my roommates were, uh, were physics students over at the, the IUPUI, you know? Uh-huh. Uh, we, we've made this uh, egg launcher. We're getting ready to launch a bunch of eggs at your house from five blocks, five blocks away. I was wondering if you could what? go... What? We, we're, we're physics students, and we've, we've devised this system. It's like a... Oh, I forget. I, I, I know what they're called, but I don't know how to pronounce it because I'm not a history student. How but, did you get my number? Uh, I looked it up on the internet, and also one of my roommates is a hacker. So we're getting ready to launch. What? Listen, we're getting ready to launch eggs, like a, about three dozen eggs, and they're all going to land on your roof. And I was wondering if you could go out there and tell us if they hit on target because there's, there's only four of us here, and we need all of us here to uh, record the data and, and pull the 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 thing. Are you serious? Trebuchet. Trebuchet. Yeah, yeah, you know, like one of those things from that, that movie about faxing human beings to the past. How did you get my work number? Oh, this is your work number? I don't know. Um, th- that, that, would, that would have been uh, Chad. He's the hacker. And he looked it up. I don't know. Are you home right now, though? Do not launch any eggs at my house. No, they're just going to hit the roof. Like, you could stand on your front porch, and they won't touch you. As no, lo- why did you pick me? Why did you pick me? Oh, no, it's nothing personal. It's just um, you are in direct, you know, like, just the perfect angle from our house. Like, no, please don't. You don't have permission to do that. No, they're just going to hit your roof, and, and they'll, they'll just get washed away. don't have permission to do that. They'll just get washed away, and they're right. you're going to see eggshells, like, in your gutter. You don't have permission to do that. Ma'am, it's, we're just physics students. You know, it's, it's just like a weird little... I have permission to do that. Ma'am, we're bored out of our minds with this fucking COVID. We, you we do just... not have permission to do that. But, 
I don't think we need permission because you're five blocks from us. We could just say it was an accident. I I thought you'd. And, uh, and you are my, you are being recorded because you called my work number, so they record all phone calls. Where, so where, if you say it's an accident, I gotta record. Where do you work at? Don't worry about it. Well, are, you're not home then. Don't worry about it. Can you just go out and tell us if the eggs hit? No, I'm going to. I'm gonna call the police. No, don't call the. the Get the cell phone and let me call the police. No, don't do that. Come on, we're we're just students. Like we're we're not. We don't mean any harm. Because I don't even know how y'all calling my work. Y'all calling my work phone with this. I told you, Chad's a hacker. He got your number. We're we're physics students, ma'am. We we know how to do things. But ma'am. Yeah, I know how to do things too. Okay. I'm gonna call the cops. No, don't and do give that. Give them okay. your number. Okay. And let them talk to you. Okay, look, I'm gonna come clean with you. We're we're not really physics students, and we're not really launching eggs at your house. Okay. I, ma'am. How may I help you? I don't have time to play games. Okay, no, I wasn't playing games. I'm actually with uh, Royco's Distraction Services, and um, I was hired to distract you for exactly. Three minutes and 45 seconds. And um, I'm done. I've distracted you. I've successfully completed my contract. Oh, no. I wanted to butt slam her because Frankie, who provided this list, is insisting that uh, that I butt slam some people today. So we got to butt slam some people. I should have said that instead of distraction because now she just feels even more threatened. Maybe I should call her back. Do a proper butt slam. Hello. Okay, listen, ma'am. I'm actually with the local radio station, WKRP. Um, and and <laughs> I was just kidding. Quit yes. playing with me. Yeah, yeah. I was just messing with you. You have been. You've just been butt, 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 butt slam on the Gerbil and the Butt Show, 100.3 The Gerbil. We we had you going, didn't we? What? Who had you to prank me? Uh, do do you know do you know someone named Brittany? Who? Brittany. Do you know Brittany? I think she said she worked with you or something. <laughs> no, got, I don't know Brittany. We got you good. We we sure got you, didn't we? I don't know Brittany. Yeah. See, if you hadn't called me on this phone, I would have got you. But I was trying to keep it professional because you called my work phone and I'm going to cut your ass out. Oh, thank God then, because you know we would have had to edit all that out on the radio, because we're totally on the radio right now. You're on oh, the you air. Put me on the radio. Yeah, you're on the air right now. What's your favorite station? B103 Chicago. Oh fuck, <laughs> fuck, <laughs> fuck you, fuck you, Ooh. lady. Oh, she hung up on me. She was so nice. I was just looking through the list, and there's a Britney down here. Oh, man, she was great. I liked her. <laughs> you guys remember that news story where um, some guy's house was getting egged? I think it was in Ohio. And his house was getting egged, and nobody knew where the eggs were coming from. Like, they were coming from really far away. Somebody was launching them at his house, and it was a great story. It was a cool story very cool story it's in the paper it's a bunch of articles i'm not crazy thanks king richard three what there was three bingo squares from her green imp hello hi brandy yes hi uh this is gary i'm your um i'm your neighbor i live well i mean i live about five blocks from you okay um, me and uh, my roommates, we're, we're a bunch of physics students. We're getting ready to launch eggs at your house from five blocks away. Uh, we've, we've You're launching what? Eggs. You know, like raw eggs. They're going to hit your roof. And it's going to be fine because they'll just get washed away in the rain. Okay. But we're getting ready to do that right now. Can you go out and just tell us if they hit, like, right on target? Um... Yeah, give me a second. It's going to be great. There's like four of us operating this machine. It's a trebuchet. I don't know how to pronounce it. I think that's more Chad's department. Uh, 
But do you, do you know where um, do you know where her circle is? Uh, no. Oh man, we're we're like way over on her circle. It's across um, road. We're, we're, oh, okay. We're we're like way we're we're like we're we're a good five or six blocks from you, and we've calculated the exact okay. angles and everything, and we're we're gonna be launching like three dozen eggs, and they're all gonna land directly on the front of your roof. It's a okay. It's a science project for us to do while we're not allowed to go back to school because we're super bored. Okay. So, um, you're you're okay with this? Like, we could miscalculate and they'll all just hit you, but you know, it's just eggs. It won't hurt. I mean, yeah, that's fine. We're all A and B students, so it's you know, it's not. It, more, most likely, it's going to hit your roof. Okay. Okay. Okay, so are you outside? Yeah. Okay, and and um, like, where are you? Like, in this, I I would back away from the house to be honest, J just in case we miscalculate. Okay. It's okay because this is all for science. <laughs> so, are you like across the street now? Yeah. Okay, like on the sidewalk across the street. Yeah. Okay, Chad, Chad, get ready. Okay, um, he's, he's getting the machine ready. He's cranking it up. Um, but there's one thing, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, here's the thing. <laughs> hey, Lamo, you just got full on butt slammed by the Skippy and Dippy morning show on 100.9 The Gerbil. I was just kidding. We're not really physics students. It was a butt slam. Okay. It was just a joke. I don't even I don't even live around here. I live in the hood. I All right. I couldn't afford to live in this neighborhood. <laughs> okay. Can you get mad and yell at me just, you know, for ratings? <laughs> I mean, I really know how to get mad. Cool. It would have been something else other than eggs and we might have had a problem. Yeah, but I mean, eggs are easy to wash off. That's true. Yeah, I mean, they 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 they're just uh, they would just eat through your roof. You know, all the egg acid and stuff. Not my house. Oh, whose house? Oh, it's a rental. Yep. Oh, we would have called your landlord and told him you did it. Oh, prove it. <laughs> yeah, we're assholes. But you know what? It's, How do you know that I even eat eggs? It's okay. So how would you prove it? It's okay because but slam. we just butt slammed you on the Skippy and Dippy morning show. Okay. It was a good one, wasn't it? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Can you tell us how clever it was? I mean, it was pretty clever. Um, can you say uh, Chad's catchphrase? Um, his catchphrase is, ooh, you kids done did it again. Ooh, you kids done did it again. That was perfect. Okay, we're going to play this on the radio in about two minutes. So tune in. Okay. It's on, it's on, a, <laughs> it's on, it's on, a, it's on AM 417. Okay. All right, bye, honey. Love you. <laughs> bye. <laughs> bye. That was I Regret Jumping's idea. Hey, I regret jumping. I tried to do a prank request of yours yesterday that you sent me in 2017. It was the lady who... There was a news article about her, and she stole a TV from a Walmart, her and her boyfriend or husband or whatever. And, um, you know, they got caught and arrested. They went to jail. There's this news article out about them. And this lady is in the comments of the news article, like, yelling at everybody in the comments. It was so great. And the lady reviewed a jail that she stayed at once. But um, I tried a bunch of different numbers for her. I could not get her to... I, I mean, like, I couldn't find a good number. I think she probably doesn't keep numbers very long, is my guess. It's too bad, though, because I really wanted that one to work out. Schmohawk wants me to call people and tell them that they do not currently have the coronavirus. Hello? Hello, can... Um, Kayana? Yeah. Hey, I I'm your neighbor. Uh, this is Roy. I, I live, um, I don't know, we, we live like, well, I, I guess we're like 10 blocks away from you at this point. We used to live in your house, actually. What? Uh, you're on the way? We used to live there. 
Oh, okay. Um, my my kids. I, I don't mean to bum you out or anything, but my my kids' uh, cat died today, and we're we're gonna be coming oh. we're gonna be coming by in a little bit and have a little funeral in your yard and and bury it just on the side of the house. No. No, like that's where the cat was born. Actually, um, the cat's mom had her kittens at, on your property, so that's where we're we're gonna bury her. I just wanted to let you know so you don't come out because you know we got a social distance and all that. No, you're not going to be digging a hole in my yard. Oh, it's we're going to fill it back in, and it's going to have a cat in it. We'll, we'll bury no. it deep, like no one. It's not going to get dug up by animals or anything. It's just a dead cat. It's not going to hurt anything. No. What? Why not? Oh, Johnny Lemon wants me to tell them we're enforcing a new mandatory lockout. Everyone must stay outside. Major Tinnitus wants me to say, can you change your Wi-Fi password to something less secure? I'm trying to teach my son hacking, but he needs easy ones to learn on. What a great idea. By the way, Major Tinnitus, I tried to play a Huey Lewis song on the end of yesterday's Hobo Sode. I like went through every Huey Lewis song that I have on my hard drive. And holy shit, those things did not age well. I, I just could not do it. They all sucked. Like pretty much every Huey Lewis song out there is crap sorry if you're a Huey Lewis fan I'm sorry oh they hung up on me they hung up on me again I don't even know how to pronounce why are you hanging up on me motherfucker uh, this is Roy I'm just calling to tell you to hang up that goddamn phone I don't know who Roy is. It doesn't matter. You don't have to know who I am. Just hang up your damn phone. Why am I hanging up my phone for? Be because I order you. You better hang up that fucking phone right now. <laughs> don't laugh at me, motherfucker. <laughs> you hang up that phone or I'll, I'll hang it up for you. This. What? What? Why are you hanging up? Hello? Hey, who's this? Who, is, who are you? Why, why are you calling my phone for? Hey, why don't you it? tell that other person to get off the phone and go change your smoke detector battery? Smoke, smoke detector battery and what? I just heard a smoke detector go off. But who is this? Why, why are you calling my phone telling me to hang my phone up? For? Because, because uh, you're going to do what I say, and I say you're going to hang up that damn phone. But who are you, you son you of a bitch? bitch? Oh, don't call me a son of a bitch. <laughs> I called you a son of a bitch. You know what? Show your motherfucking ass to the clear. Don't be talking no, no shit on the phone. Come out. Oh, I'll talk all the shit I want. You go change that battery, motherfucker. <laughs> he said you go change that battery, motherfucker. Listen. Doesn't it bother you? It, it like beeps every one minute. It doesn't, that doesn't bother you? It's pissing me off. Well, why don't you come and change it? I don't, why don't you come and change it? I can't afford a 9-volt battery. I can hear it all the way over my house, the beeps, like, all day, every day. Go change your damn well, battery. Well, then just put the money on the porch for me to get a battery, and i go get it and, and put it in there so it'll stop bothering you. Just shoplift one. It's easy. They're not going to notice. You no shoplift one, bitch. Nobody steals batteries. Just steal a battery. Yeah, yeah well, you won't steal them if you get one. Hello? Hey, Who is this? this is, How did you get this number? This is Roy. I, I, I'm your, I'm Where your are you from, Roy? I'm your neighbor. I live here on Pintail. On oh, Pintail? What? Roy. What? Speak up. I don't know you, Roy. Listen, you son of a bitch. Go change that battery. <laughs> no, I changed it. Okay, yeah, listen. We go, we listen. Your phone now. Listen, both of you. <laughs> we out with your ass both at. of you, shut up. Listen, I need to know on a scale of one to ten, how many marijuanas have you smoked today? Ten. No, you haven't smoked ten. Come on, be honest. This is a survey. Ten. Okay. It's a survey. Yeah, this is a survey. Not no survey talking crazy like that. Question number one was hang up your fucking phone. Well, why you call me and tell me to hang up my phone, though? I don't get that. You need to get one of those coronavirus masks and put it over your smoke detector. 
You know what? You 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 won't start some shit now, right? <laughs> what are you talking? That's what you gonna do then, motherfucker. You get dead fucking around like that. Hey, I don't even know who that is. Don't, I don't, thre- don't, know. don't threaten my I life, please. Will. What? I said, don't threaten my life, please, ma'am. Thank you. Well, no, don't you threaten to put no coronavirus on no motherfucking body. My my grandson, or nothing. I didn't say. Oh, she just hung up. I didn't. I didn't. She misunderstood me. <laughs> How rude to say that I would threaten someone with coronavirus. Hello. Hi. Uh, is is this Jordan? Yeah. Hey, it's it's Roy. I'm your neighbor. I live here on. Oh, rug- okay. On rugby, I'm. I'm teaching my son, uh, you know, just pen testing, computer security, you know, IT stuff. Bas- basi- okay. Basically teaching him how to hack. Okay. Um, do you think you could change your Wi-Fi password to something much easier? Because he's a beginner. And he's... he's uh, no. He's trying to figure... nice try. Thank you. Well, no, just, just, just for the day. No. Why not? We're not going to do anything with it. I'm going to let you hack my Wi-Fi, okay. Well, no, we're trying to hack it anyway. I'm just saying, like, if you make the password a little easier, he's only 11 years old. It would be... Well, know, an 11-year-old shouldn't be able to ha- hack my Wi-Fi. Well, no, he, he's, he wants to be a, a computer security professional when he grows up. Okay, then he can do that in college where he can do it L- stop, legally. Stop being an asshole. Just change your password. Just make it, like, one single word so he can brute force. <laughs> he told me I'm an asshole because I won't change my Wi-Fi password to let him hack it. Who are you talking to? Do you hear yourself right now? We're neighbors. You're you're acting like I'm a stranger. Yeah. I don't know what neighbor you are. You, I don't know where you live. You've probably seen my son out there hanging out and playing and stuff. No, there's no kids that live on my cul-de-sac. Bullshit, there's not. Okay, fine. He plays video games all day. You got us. Okay, what's your house look like? Why are you being such an asshole? I mean, we're, we're just, we just... I'm just asking if you're my neighbor, what does your house look like? It's a blue house. Okay, well, that's a... Why? Because there's no blue houses on my cul-de-sac. So nice try. I didn't say I was on your cul-de-sac. We're we're like a couple cul-de-sacs over. We have a cantina aimed directly at your house. We're trying to hack your Wi-Fi. Okay, you live on Rugby Port Court, but you also live two cul-de-sacs down from. No, me. you're misunderstanding what I said. Okay, <laughs> okay. I fucked that up. I love that idea, though, Major Tinnitus. That was great. I'm I'm definitely going to do that at least one more time. I could just tell people, due to COVID, you know, I, I'm out of a job, can't afford internet, just give me your password. It's cool, I'm nice. Hi. This Hello? is Scotty. Oh, hey, hey there. It's your neighbor, it's Roy? Yes. Hey, um, I, I'm, I'm trying to teach my son how to do computer security stuff today, and we're trying to hack, uh-huh. we're trying to hack into your router. Um, do you think you could uh, just reset it real quick? Mm, I don't know who this is. I'm sorry. Oh, th- this is Roy. My son's name is Trevor. Trevor, what? where do you live? Uh, well, I'm, we're on Carrollton Avenue, but we know we're a bit down the street from you. We've got like a, a directional antenna aimed at, at your house. And we oh, s- okay. We see your wife. My, but- son, my son's just trying to hack your Wi-Fi. He's only 11. It's, it's all just completely innocent. Yeah, well, my, my son is doing an online class right now, so it's probably not a good time. Oh, he, he won't <laughs> kick him off. He, he's, a, he's a very responsible hacker. Yeah, I, I, I'm not comfortable with that. I'm sorry. Well, do you think you could change I, the password to something a little easier? No, I don't think so. Just like a... Sim- a my, yeah, mine goes, through, mine goes through my work, so I can't really do anything with that. Yeah, but you could just make it like a single word and don't use any capital letters. It'll give him a thrill if he he gets one on his first try. He doesn't know I'm yeah, ca- I, calling you. He's yeah, I I don't know how did you get my number. Uh, I looked on the internet. Okay, I'm I'm not comfortable with that. I'm sorry. Come on, come on. Horrible neighbor. Got to do that at least one more time. Pumpkin man wants me to say I'm calling and letting you know that the neighborhood has voted to eat you in the event of an emergency. I like that idea, but I'm not going to do it. It goes against the rules of prank calling. You cannot call people and threaten to eat them. It's not cool. Hello? Hey. Hey, um, is it D- Daryl? Yeah. Th- this is uh, Steve Dave. I'm, with the, I'm at the mayor's office 
here in Indianapolis. Uh huh. And the the mayor wanted me to call and like, are, are you still living in Indianapolis? Yes. Okay, he wants to know why you have some communist phone number. Why the what? You, you have some weird, weird communist phone number. You know, like, m maybe it's about time you um, switch over to an Indiana phone number and just kind of represent the local area and stop being such a weird communist. With your, like, where... Yeah, you better stop calling my phone. We're talking about a weird communist. Well, no, I'm just saying, like... What, definitely what, what, ain't with the mayor. What is this area code? 904? What is that? What area code you from? Oh, I'm from the three one seven. You said okay, let's three one seven. I'm I'm a I'm a Christian. Work, I'm a Christian. You, you work with who? I, I work for the mayor's office. I'm the mayor's assistant. Which mayor you? What, but what, which mayor? The uh, the only mayor that there is in Indianapolis. Look, which this is it's a very simple request. I doubt it'll even cost you any money. Just change your number to something local. Why do I need a local number? Because, I don't know, you just kind of seem like an outsider. If you're going to have some weird, like, wh where's that number? Where's 904 at? Is that, is Indianapolis. <laughs> no, it's not. There, there's no 904 in Indianapolis. That's where I'm at. Well, why don't you change your number and act like it for once in your life? They, they gave me this number. Who did? That's the show. In Indianapolis? Yeah. Why Why would they give you a... Can you tell that ambulance in the background to shut the fuck up? <laughs> now, what you doing? Are you trying to get new people on the phone? What, what phone service you got? Oh, that's none of your business, but I, I'll tell you anyway. I'm with Verizon Wireless. But it it doesn't matter. Oh, hey, what? How you going to call me and, and talk about it in the <laughs> now, I'm just passing along a message from the mayor. From the mayor? Yes, and he really wants you to change your number. Uh, we looked into it. Sprint Wireless does, will not charge you to change your number. So all you have to do is call them up. I Actually, I can put them on three-way and let you talk to them. And you can just change well, your... why do I need a three-way? Why do I need a 317? The, the phone works fine. Look, if you want to have, like, maybe a 765, that's not exactly local, but at least it's in the state. I really didn't care what number I had. I just told him to give me a phone. Like, what? What is nine oh four? What? What's nine oh? Is that? Is that like, like China or something? I don't know. Whatever, whatever the store is giving us, I don't know. Why would but they the give you a nine oh four? That doesn't make that doesn't make any sense. Well, they must be from there or something. I don't know. That's fucked up. <laughs> I'd call Are you them. calling to making everybody change their numbers over? No, no, just you. Well, I mean, the, the mayor was just looking through your records in the filing cabinet, and he just he just noticed that uh, that you had a weird phone number. Hold on, I'm, I'm bridging. The mayor looking for me. What the mayor need my records for? Oh, no, he was, he was just looking. He was just looking at your record, at your file. Hold on, I, I, I'm connecting uh, Sprint Wireless onto the line. Just one second here. They, they'll, they'll get you to change your number. This is Carol with Sprint Wireless. How can I help you? Hi, Carol. Uh, this is Steve Day from the mayor's office. I have a man here on the phone. His name is Daryl, and he would like to change his number to a 317 area code and not this communist 904 that he's got. All right, what's the phone number? Yeah, I'm like, it ain't crazy. Who is, who is Sprint giving out numbers? I just gave her, I just gave her your number. I, I took you, I took us off the air so she couldn't hear. Because I didn't want the listeners to get I, your number. I said Sprint, Sprint giving out numbers. It looks like, sir, you have a Florida number. And uh, we, we can see from your GPS coordinates that you're not in Florida. You're going to need to change that. <laughs> Sir, oh. I was just getting ready to tell him to shut his woman up. He hung up on me. <laughs> oh shit, we only have 30 minutes left. 33 minutes, and we gotta quit the show. Maybe I'll go a little bit over though. Just a little bit. Hello? 
Hey, Byron. Yeah, this is Byron. Hey, uh, this this is Steve Dave. I'm your neighbor. I live here on Valley Road. Oh yes. Hey, um, we're um, I, I was wondering, do you think you could uh, change your your Wi-Fi password to something a little bit easier to guess at? We're trying to brute force her. We're we're just you know like um, we we had to shut off our internet because I don't have a job anymore because of all this coronavirus stuff. We just want to use your internet. Or can you just tell me what the password is real quick? My, no. my, my son needs it to do the online school stuff. Oh. <laughs> F in reality, you already said hi to me. Oh, wait, no, no, I'm sorry. You didn't. I'm thinking of Elky. It's because you have an E in the beginning and a Y on the end. I thought you were Elky. Sorry. You're nothing like Elky. Elky's an asshole. You're cool. I actually met F in reality. Your call has been forwarded to an auto... Never met Elky. Fuck Elky. I'm sorry, Elky. I shouldn't say that. Elky reality. Oh, here's someone else with the communist phone number. It's up there in Michigan. It's not cool. Pumpkin Man wants me to ask for their password so I can watch pornography. Hello? Lee! Hello? Hey, uh, this is Steve Dave. I'm your neighbor. Oh, hi! Hi! How are you? Good. Hi! Good. Hey, I was wondering. Uh, I'm a I'm an avid watcher of pornography. Um, can I please use your Wi-Fi to watch pornography? Because my phone is out of data for the month. I don't live there. No. Oh, you don't live not. on Park. I guess it's... You don't live on Park Avenue anymore. No, I do not. Oh shit! I don't know anyone else to ask. Well, good luck. I just want to watch some girl on girl action. No luck with that one, Mr. Pumpkin Man. <laughs> I tried. Fucking people moving. Ask a neighbor to spot me while I bench press. But he has to spot me from six feet away because... I'm sorry, distancing. the person you are trying to reach has a voicemail box. Default urine, are you seriously playing bingo? Look, everybody, you can play bingo along with these prank calls if you want to. By going to worldofprankcalls.com slash bingo and downloading a, I mean, printing a bingo card or I guess just loading it up in Photoshop. But it's a little late now because it's only 30 minutes left. So you're playing against Green Imp today. Hopefully you guys chose different cards. Hello. Oh, hey, Steven? Yes. Hey, uh, th this is Steve Dave. I'm your neighbor. Uh, I'm sorry, who is this? Steve Dave. I'm your neighbor. You know the Blue House? Like a little bit down the street. Uh huh. Hey, um, I'm getting ready to. I'm I'm signing up for an online account, and I put in your phone number as the verification number. They're gonna call you up with the code. Um, do you think okay. you can? I'm gonna I'm gonna click on the thing, and can you just click over and uh, write down the code for me, so I can sign up on this porn site? <laughs> no, <laughs> that's so weird. Why is it weird? Uh -huh. we're, we're neighbors. Yeah, no, we're not. Thank you. No, we are. <laughs> Ask someone to do a workout routine with me through their front window. Okay. I'll do that, Devin. Just for you. Saga whatever says I'll pay them to watch. Hi, this is Susan. I can't take your call right now. Oh, she would have been hilarious. This is Ann. Ann, hey, it's your neighbor. Yeah. It's Roy. Hi, how are you? Good. You home today? Yeah. Okay, great. I'm gonna come in your front yard. Not literally. I'm I'm gonna like walk. Look, do do you want to work out together? Like you can just stay in your house and just open the window. And we'll just work out together. I'm gonna bring okay. a. Wait, what? Who are you? I'm sorry. Oh, this is Roy. I live here on Drive. But, where do you live? Uh, you know where the blue house is? It's it's uh, just a, a couple blocks down. Not on your side, but on the opposite side of the street. Um, I don't. Okay, it doesn't matter. Um, I've I've got spandex on. I'm getting ready to walk over there. I'm gonna be in your front yard, and I'm gonna do exercise. Can you please open the window and exercise with me? Please. 
I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Exercise. Do you, do you ever exercise? No. Why not? It's it's good for you. I don't. It's about time you start. You know. I I I, don't, I hate to be the one to say it, but you need a little bit of exercise. Let's let's just open up those windows. Let's. I'm gonna. I'm bringing my boom box. We're gonna sweat to the oldies. The oldies being like Bon Jovi and stuff. What what's your last name? Zerbel. Zerbel. Yep. I don't think I've ever met you. Oh uh, yeah, I don't know if, if I've actually I mean you've waved at me before. How did you get my number? Uh I looked it up on the internet. Is it okay if I hang my sweat towel on, on your mailbox? So, you know, this is very inappropriate. I'm not trying to be inappropriate. I, I just, it's just exercise. It's very it's, in, no, very you're you're making this a sexual thing. I'm not. I'm just wanting to exercise. That's all. Well, I I don't exercise. Sorry. Why, why not? I, actually, I'm I'm really busy right now. I'm working, so I'm gonna have to hang up. Sorry. Look, look, twenty minute workout. Just a twenty minute workout. I'm gonna have to hang up because I I have a job and I'm working, so I have to I have a job too. Time. I'm taking time off of my job to to come and work out with you. You're welcome. I have to get on a conference call. Maybe another time. Thank can, you. Can I come on the conference call? I want to be on a conference call. <laughs> okay, uh, was this thing on? You have a good point. I did say I wanted to come in her yard. So yeah, I was a little inappropriate. Sorry, Ian. Good job on that one, Devin. That was fun. Schmohawk wants me to call as someone's ISP and tell them all the porn they watch is slowing down everyone's internet. Which I can't do. I like the idea, but I'd have to know what their ISP is. I'm too lazy to look that up. Who knows? This city might have like a bunch of choices or something. It's a large city. Hey, Nick Caesar's in the chat room. Hey, Nick Caesar. Hello? Hi, is Theodore there? Theodore? Yeah. I'm calling from the city. Uh, no... You're calling from where? I'm sorry. The city of Indianapolis. I'm calling from the mayor's office. What is all that noise? Are you jogging? No, there's a thing in on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway, uh, well, yeah, yeah. Let, let me talk to Theodore real quick. There's no Theodore here. This is the raw concert. Ma'am, don't lie. Uh, I'm with the mayor's office. You don't need to lie to the mayor's office. Just put Theodore on the phone. You know, uh-uh. What do you mean, uh-uh? What? You know, uh-uh? I haven't butt-slammed nearly enough people. I need to do some more butt-slamming. Sue wants me to act sexier. Okay. I'll work on that. Over the next 12 minutes. Hello, this is Ed. Hey, Ed. Uh, this is Steve Dave from the mayor's office here in Indianapolis. I'm, I'm sorry. Steve, you Steve here from where? Uh, I'm, I'm from the mayor's office here in Indianapolis. Okay. All right. Hey, hey we're getting ready to... We're working with uh, AT&T. Like they're, um, they, they've got a satellite, a stationary satellite overhead right now above your house. They're getting ready to, to, to just just saturate your entire property with 5G radio waves. Are you home right now? I am. Okay, great. Um, would you be able to just try out your phone here in a minute and, and let me know how, you know, if the, if it speeds up with all the 5G? Uh, well, I'm getting ready to head out of the house here in just a couple of minutes. So okay. I don't know if I can do that for well, you. Okay, just so you know, we're, we're, we're localizing this. It's only going to be on your property. Like, you're going to have, like, just intense 5g for the next uh couple couple days three four or five okay, days sounds like a Six, stretch call but uh yeah it's just we're, we're testing this out because they're they want to go live for the whole city but we got to make sure it works um they wanted me to let you know though that it's probably gonna well, all right well you might you might want to try another house but thanks for letting me oh know. no Thank no you. it's it's gonna be your right. house sir listen it's gonna make you oh let's <laughs> get ready to try an elky idea he's not having it Let's call up George. That's the name of somebody who has internet. Cell phones stuff. Hello? Hey, George? Hey. Hey, this is Steve Dave from the mayor's office. Yes. I'm calling to let you know we're getting ready to, um, 
we're we're do, we're getting ready to launch 5G in the city. We're going to be testing it out just on your house first, though. Oh, okay. Are you home today? Uh, I will be uh, at five. Okay, like if you could just get on your cell phone and turn off the Wi-Fi and see how fast your cell phone is. Maybe I could call you back tomorrow because the mayor just uh -huh. we just want to get like a report and see how it's working and stuff. But they're, okay, there there it's a sat it's coming from a satellite and they're putting it only on your house, so it's going to be like a lot of energy coming down on your house. So uh -huh. A lot, lot of, lot of radio waves. You're gonna see, you know, things might spark. You're, you're gonna like. There's gonna be a lot of electric, uh, a lot of static electricity, like when you walk around and stuff. Roger. No, I'm serious, sir. It's just gonna be okay. for, for the next four days. All righty. But um, they wanted me to warn you that um, it's probably, most likely, it's gonna make you have gay dreams. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So you're not like a homophobe, are you, right? Are you? No. Okay. No. Good. Yeah, because you're you're definitely like in like ninety eight percent of people they have gay dreams. Okay. The radio waves are going to be so powerful, you might be able to see them if you look really hard. Yeah. If you squint. Probably. You're not buying this, There's... are you? No. God damn it! I, I thought George would be an old person. <laughs> no. Why'd your Why'd your parents name you George? I don't know. I mean, uh, holy shit! After how old, my dad. How old are you? Oh, his name. Thirty eight. Thirty eight, and they named you George. What the hell? Mm hmm. Ugh! I hate your parents. Yeah. Yeah. It happens. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna prank call the next person on the list, I guess. Alrighty. All you right. have a good one. Hey, I love you. You too. Oh, thanks. Thanks, honey. Later. Mwah. King Bill says I should have asked for his middle name and just used that. That would have fixed everything, right? What a great idea. I like the gay dreams thing, but I don't think anyone's going to believe it. Good afternoon, this is Carl. Hey, Carl. This this is uh, Steve Dave from the, the mayor's office. I think you got the wrong number. Uh, no, I don't, because I'm calling Carl on f***ing lane. In the mayor's office? I don't think so. Why what do, do you want? Why do you not think so? Why Why are you being like that about it? What What would? Well, I'm not into politics. Okay. No, this isn't about politics. We're getting ready to beam radio waves at your house. That's all. Well, that sounds real good. Yeah. No, it's fine. It's completely safe. We're gonna. You're gonna be like the first person in the city to get 5G on your cell phone. Why do I think this is not a scam? It's not a scam because I'm not asking for your credit card number, okay? I don't know why you're acting like okay. you're, you're like the second person that's acted like this to me today. Well, let's face it. It sounds kind of strange. Okay, look. We have a stationary satellite over your house. We're going to be pretty much just uh, beaming some high-intensity 5G radio waves down all over your property, just on your property alone. We're, we're just doing a test before we launch this for the whole city. Okay. You sure, you know, you pick somebody that's not very high tech, I, just to let you know. Well, that's the, the whole city. You know, we want to just get the average average person out there. It's just the, these 5G radio waves, they're going to be really intense. You're going to have like a lot of static electricity when you walk around and it's just going to be for like three or four days while they try it out. Well, how about you can't pick somebody else? Uh, no, but they wanted me to warn you. That these 5G radio waves, they're going to make you have gay dreams. What kind of dreams? Gay dreams. You know, like homosexual dreams. Yeah. Well, hey, you have a nice day, okay? No, I'm completely serious, sir. Oh, <laughs> At least he got pissed. He didn't just laugh along with me. <laughs> that was Elkie's idea. That guy was obviously a homophobe. Jam Cuckoo on one says, uh, you're patient zero. But he didn't put an apostrophe in your, because he's an idiot. But yeah, he's patient zero as of, of the gay, the gays, the gay pandemic. We're going to have a new pandemic. Everyone's going to turn gay. That would be an awesome pandemic. Why can't we have pandemics like that that turns everybody gay? Oh yeah, King Richard says it'll demagnetize credit cards. I should have said that. I need you to go hide all your credit cards inside a Faraday cage real quick. Crispy. Hello. Oh, hi, Andrea. 
Yes. Hey, it's Steve Dave. Uh, I I used to live in your house there on Bartley Drive. Uh huh. Yeah, I, I live up in North Indianapolis now. Oh, okay. Hey, um, my 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 kid's cat died today. We're gonna bring it down there to your house and and bury it over there in the side yard next next to his sibling. Um, no, that's not okay. Oh well, no, no, you don't understand. the The cat's the cat had a, a sister, and we buried it next to the next to your house. You know, before you moved in. Okay. Okay, that's fine. We're new owners, and we don't want nobody digging over there, so no. Well, no, okay. no. We're, we'll fill the hole back in. It's just going to have a dead cat in it. No, we're good. Thank listen, you. No, listen. There's like five dead thank animals. Oh. oh, and if they won't let me bury my cat there, then you know what? I'm coming to claim my other cats that are already buried there, because I don't want them living in the yard of a shitty person. Take that person this is paul may I help you hey paul uh this is this is steve dave um i used to live at, at your house there on court uh this is yeah this is steve who uh my name is steve dave i, I live up there up up in north indianapolis now we used we used to okay. live live down there at your place though okay how long ago uh it's it's been a good 20 years now yeah, because uh, I can't remember. There was a military, uh, when we worked for Caterpillar, who we bought it off of. And I thought he was moving to Peoria. But anyway. Oh, yeah. I don't know who that would what, be. What oh, can yeah. I do for you? Oh, well, um, my, my, my kid's dog died uh, j- just uh, yesterday. And we're going to bring it down to your house, and we're going to bury it in the side yard. Right next to his brother. <laughs> oh wow! So uh-huh. we're, we're gonna have just a, a very small funeral service. It's me and the three kids and my wife, and um, the dog's mother is what I said before is is already buried there. Okay, there on the side, you know, on the right side. All right, so it's like you're facing the house, <clears throat> the right side or the left. Oh, uh, the right side. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Um, it's a big German shepherd. It's, it's going to be a pretty large hole, but it's fine. I know where all the... There, there's there's no gas lines or water lines over there. That's why we buried the mother there. Interesting. This is a really interesting <laughs> Why do you say I'm that? I'm sorry. Uh, you, you, I mean, I've never spoken to you. and You want to... I mean, just with everything going on, it's a strange call. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're not going to want to come out and hang out with us because, you know, social distancing. Yeah. Um, well, um, say I was a crazy person. What if I told you no? What were you going to do? What? Don't be like that. Come on. It's my, my kid's pet pet dog, Wolfie. <laughs> um, no, no. <laughs> Oh, I don't know if you're kidding or not. Um, oh no, I wouldn't kid about this. It's, it's our, our our pet, you know, like it's like a member of the family. Um, yeah. Um, well, um, is the tombstone still there for the the previous dog? <laughs> There's no tombstone. <laughs> oh is, my is, gosh! Is it cool if we put some there? I mean, they'll just be right up against the house. Yeah. Sure. That's a wonderful. Okay. Thank you so much. You're such a nice person. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow. Oh no, today. Today what time? Uh about eleven thirty at night. Eleven thirty at night, okay. So bring do you need us to leave the lights on? Uh no, it's cool. We got flashlights. Is is it okay if we uh do some metal metal detecting while we're there? <laughs> Did you bury a treasure? No, no, no. It's just, you know, just no reason. Just don't worry about it. Okay, we won't. What? I said, okay, we won't. Okay, thank you. You won't what? Oh, uh, wait. What? Worry about it. Okay, yes, please don't worry about it. Sorry, I was texting somebody. Ah, uh, a little busy here. Okay, hey, thank you so much for being so understanding about this. You're welcome. I love you. Thanks. <laughs>
Goodbye. Bye-bye. That was fun. So is the show over? I kind of feel like the show's over. I mean, it is 12.35. I don't want to go into anyone else's time slots. Maybe I should just get one more person. Let's, let's try, try jazzercising with one more person, maybe. This is Gina. Can I help you? Hey, Gina. Uh, it's uh, Steve Dave. Your neighbor? Gina? Uh, I think you might have the wrong number. Oh, you don't live on the court? I do. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm your neighbor. I, we don't really know each other that well. I've just been doing this thing uh, the past couple weeks where I go into people's front yards and, and do exercises. Uh-huh. Do you think you could open up your window and exercise with me for just 25 minutes? Uh, probably not. I uh, do virtual exercises through the gym that I go to. Yeah, but this is like a virtual gym, but, you know, it's just, it's a window instead instead of a screen. You get a pass on that. Well, but why I not? I appreciate you asking. Well, can, can I just, can I just come and exercise in your yard, like, you know, just by myself, and maybe that'll <laughs> encourage you to join in? No. Why not? <laughs> This is the best phone call I've gotten in a very long time. I'm completely serious. I'm gonna I'm gonna be streaming it to my YouTube channel. Do <laughs> uh, you haven't seen me doing this in other people's yards? No, I have not. Oh man. Do you know do you know our neighbor Nicole? Nope, don't know her either. She came to the window. <laughs> she came to the window and exercised with me. It was pretty amazing. I it's on YouTube. Yeah, sounds like a good time. Yeah, yeah. I got so excited during that one I came. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is the best ever. <laughs> you remind me of that Polly Shore cruise lady. <laughs> oh, God. oh, do you have anything else? <laughs> can, can come on, just just come to the window, please. It's cool. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm a nice person. <laughs> I don't think you're a very nice person. I'm super nice. I'm a little fat, though. Like, is that is that a turn off if I'm a little fat? <laughs> Depends on how fast you can run. Oh no, I'm just gonna be standing stationary and doing, you know, doing all the the, the moves and jumping jacks. I just, just appreciate that somebody likes me enough to put you up to this. Oh, this no. is just the best thing that's ever happened to this me. This is completely serious. I live in the blue house. <laughs> in the blue house? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I've lived here for years. <laughs> we buried our cat in your yard. <laughs> really? I buried my cat in my yard, too. Oh, my God. They, she, I wasn't, wonder... she wasn't dead yet, though. <laughs> really awkward. <laughs> that's so sad. <laughs> so awkward. You maybe, also maybe, have the best phone number ever. Maybe they're next next to each other. What's my phone number say? Oh, it, no, it's cool. It's like a couple years ago. I think I noticed the hole. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Can you tell your dog to shut the fuck up? I could, but she won't. She's oh. like an annoying little bitch. All right. I just thought I'd try. <laughs> it's actually two of them. It's really annoying. Ugh, I'd kick him. <laughs> He's like, can you need to shut the fuck up? <laughs> <laughs> okay, listen, ma'am. Ma'am. Uh -huh. One last thing before we go. You just got full-on butt slammed by the Skippy and Dippy Morning Show on 100.9 The Gerbil. <laughs> you just got butt slammed. That's awesome. Yep. I haven't been butt slammed in a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, it's this the social distancing you're not really allowed to anymore. No. No. <laughs> but anyway. Hey, like you just shut the fuck up. <laughs> Thank you. They're totally not listening. Fucking animals. Ugh. I know. I know. You can't eat, you can't eat them. I mean, that's what started all this. <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> Fuckers. Anyway. Butt slam. You've been butt slammed. I love you. Have a great day. Yeah. I be, what's your favorite radio station? 
Uh, whoever just butt slammed me. No, I come on. <laughs> What's your favorite radio station? What radio station do you listen to every day? Uh, I don't know. Just admit. It, just admit that you have not listened to the radio in like five years. It's fine. It's true. I'm not listening to the radio. I get it. I'm in a dying industry. Okay, I gotta go. I'm depressed now. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for calling. Bye, honey. Bye, bye. I love you. She didn't love me back. <laughs> that was great. Oh man, that's a good question. F in reality, is she single or just unhappy? Because if nobody's butt slamming her, then poor girl. <laughs> So I guess that's the show today. All right, bye, everyone. Thanks for listening. See you next Friday, maybe. Yo, Brad, this is the Lion 227. Hey. Yo, man, um, I called you before, and uh, I, I was singing. I was asking you about a song, and you actually played my singing in the background of a show. I can't remember which one it was. But, yo, I figured out uh, what songs they were and what episode. So... It's Snowplow mm-hmm. Show, um, October 14th, 2014, Landlords and Art Clubs. The first time stamp would be at 10 minutes, 30 seconds. The second one is at around 28 minutes. Uh, so if you could let me know what songs they are. It's, it sounds like a Mega Man song or something for you like that. Mm-hmm. I really like them, and uh, it's pretty sick. I'm probably so. not going to know. All right, man, take it easy. Keep up with the shows, man. They fucking put me to sleep. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Oh, wow. Asshole. Say my shows put you to sleep. Yeah, I don't know. Let me go look. Mixler, go to prankcallnation.com slash chat. And, um, oh, yeah, that music right there, that's just kind of like a big medley that I pasted together myself. It's from a bunch of random, mostly just chiptunes music. That was the one at 1030. So probably the next one is going to be the same thing at 28 minutes of government act assets it'd be hilarious yeah so look if you want to email me at show at snowplowshow.com and ask that same question again or just ask for my chip tunes directory i'll send you a dropbox link and you can figure it out yourself they're all labeled individually hopefully i still have that directory i probably do but i don't know half of the songs in that thing so i can't help you unless you email me and i can just send you a link of where you can look Hey, Brad, it's me, Aaron, again. Hey, Aaron. Um, I know you hate when I call because I always bitch and complain, and I have horrible sound quality, but that's because I'm poor and I have a T-Mobile phone. Oh, yeah. Anywho, Shouldn't make fun of you for um, being poor, I guess. I was wondering if you would call the Monday Brothers for old time's sake. I don't have I their don't number. I think you will. No. But um, I'm just saying it because, um, you know... <sighs> I'm tired. Okay. I have something else to say, but I forgot. Yeah, you started so. yawning and stuff. Okay, bye. Yeah, I'm not going to call the Monday Brothers. I don't have their number. I purposely deleted their number because it's bad enough that I prank called Mildred Monday for 20 years straight. But do I really want to start harassing her offspring for the next 20 years? I mean, kind of, yeah, I kind of do. But I don't want to do that. They weren't that much fun anyway. They just yelled at me a bunch. You can barely understand them. Oh, man, now I'm kind of wanting to call them. But I don't have the number. I'm sure I could get it if I tried hard enough, but I don't really want to. Hey, Brad, it's Jacob from St. Clair Shores, Michigan. Hey. Um, six month listener, first time caller. Mm-hmm. Uh, to the meetup. This is probably a really boring voicemail. Meetup? What? So I'll end it here. Oh, okay. Bye. I think something got cut out of that voicemail. That was confusing. Yo, motherfucker, it's me, your weather god Dan. Oh jeez. I want you to Coming do in all hot phone call shows. Don't call me a motherfucker. Yo, I actually want you to want write me. bye motherfuckers. Want me to what? Don't call me a motherfucker, you son of a bitch. I'll call you a son of a bitch. Like that girl earlier. Hey, this is Barry from PA. Yeah. Um I just wanted to say I'm sorry I, I keep saying this to you, but this is the last time I'm gonna say it. I just wanted to say, fuck you, motherfucker. Okay. All right. It gets funnier every time, assuming you're the same person from last time. I don't remember. Good job on that. Hi, Butthole Winker. It's Roy. Um, hey, I was wondering if Jimba is around. Is, is Jimba around? 
Um, and if not, I was wondering if Carol is around because uh, this quarantine thing where we can't do shit. Um, no, you can I'm do looking shit. for an escort, and I was wondering if you, if Jim around <laughs> or Carol <laughs> could help me out with that. Bye. Okay. Neither one of them are home right now. Sorry. Ah, bad. This is Ryan Digital. I traveled back in time to warn you. On Snowplow Show number 666, you were reading from the actual Necronomic Necronomicon of Demons. The demons everywhere, they're everywhere, oh my god. Oh, Don't do it. When you get to show 666, just do something else, oh my god, it's so terrible. Should you really be calling from payphones during the pandemic? I mean, I know nobody really uses payphones. Those are probably the safest things you can possibly use, but still, what are you doing? And you've got a good point. In 33 more episodes... We're going to be on episode 666, and we're going to have to do something really satanic in that episode. I don't know what. I don't have any plans. We'll think of something, though. Hey, Brad. It's Luke. Hey, Luke. I'm listening to episode 632 right now. You were telling a lady how you were up drinking all last night, and I know you had gone through an alcohol recovery program, and it's sad to see that you're Mm -hmm. back on the juice, I guess. Yeah, yeah. So, hope you get the help you need, Brad. Keep me in your prayers, everyone. I'm really boozing it up these days. I'm going to end up right back in rehab. Hey, Brad. It's Dozer. Hey, What's going on, man? Dozer. Just wanted to say that uh, you were right about the whole robot thing. They really should have got robots in there to replace all the humans a long time ago. Yeah, then this wouldn't be a problem. If they did, then, you know, the neat places would be able to stay open, and the subway would be open. And- we need robots that, like, their their fingers and stuff secretes hand sanitizer or, you know, whatever part that humans touch so they're always safe. And all that stuff, because then robots could just, you know, deliver the food. Mm. And they could just give robots guns. They could give it a few more years. Too, and do all the slaughterhouse, you know, butcher stuff that all the, everyone's talking about in the news. Yeah. But anyway. We don't have enough people out there killing animals. We need robots to help us. So, uh, I'm a, a Patreon subscriber now. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to listen to a hobo sound and turn off the news because it's really depressing lately. Ew, all watch. right, man. Have a good week. Peace. Don't watch the news ever. You should read your news. It's much less depressing that way. They don't try to scare you as much in print. I bet you, though, that this whole pandemic thing, it's really going to push along the whole robot agenda. We're going to get more and more robots, hopefully. Yeah, I would like to uh, suggest that you solder on a switch to all of your answering machines so that you can occasionally turn on all the answering machines and mess with whoever's calling in. All right, bye. Okay. I'll do that. I do have a couple of those answering machines hooked up to just regular telephones that are sitting down there on the shelves. Not all of them, because I don't have 11 telephones down there, but I think three of them have phones hooked up to them, but I'm never down there. Sometimes I listen from up here, because I can hit this code on my desk phone and I can just sit there and listen to people calling into the machines, and I kind of wonder if I can just pick up one of these lights when they're lit up. They turn red when somebody's on the line. Can I just pick those up? I don't think I can. Wait, no, what am I saying? That wouldn't work. That would just try to call that extension, but it'd be busy because the answering machine's on it. Yeah, I don't I don't want to talk to you guys anyway. Screw that. So that's all for the voicemails. Thank God voicemails are getting shorter. The voicemail segment is getting shorter. Thanks, everybody, for not leaving voicemails. Thank you to the sponsors of today's show, B.I. Ever for Life, The Real Crazy Kraz, Audi Love, Parthernax, and Christine. They're the ones that keep all these shows happening. And if you'd like to help support the show, I would really appreciate it. The address to go to is patreon.com slash phonelosers or phonelosers.com slash support. It's only $5 a month and you get an extra show every week. It's totally a bargain. I would do it myself if I didn't get the shows for free as I was making them. Let's listen to some MC Lars today. I don't know which MC Lars song I'm going to play, but recently I downloaded his entire discography from his band camp because he had all of his albums up for free or a dollar or something. So I'm sure I'll find something. Here's some MC Lars. See you next time, everybody. Well, I'm not going to buy a pair of shoes that you peed in.